customary units of length. Inches, feet, yards, and miles are units in the customary system, sometimes referred to as the imperial system. They are used to measure length. So again, inches, feet, yards, and miles, those are customary units. And they're used to measure length. This system is used within the United States. though many other countries use what's called the metric system. This here is a tool where it is that we would go ahead and measure different items. And then so this tool here is a ruler. And as you see here, this part of the ruler here is in inches, is in inches. So you can think of different things that we might go ahead and measure with a ruler. For instance, a pencil. This pencil appears to be about almost eight inches long. If you look here, it's actually seven and three quarters inches. So we would choose inches to measure the length of an item about the size of a pencil. The size of our hand, for instance, you could also measure in inches. There are other things that you would not measure in inches because they're just too large. We would choose another unit of measurement from the imperial system, from that customary system, like feet, to go ahead and measure those larger objects. If we think about height, if we have a small enough person who's not very tall, we could measure them in inches, but when you start getting someone who is even taller and taller and taller, then it would make more sense to measure that person in feet rather than in inches. So this person here, the little one, could be maybe about 22 inches tall. Maybe that's someone that's like two years old. Whereas this person right here is 43 inches tall, but it would be better to go ahead and say that this person is three feet, seven inches tall. Whereas the tall person right here is 68 inches, but it would be better to go ahead and say that this person and the tall person is five feet. And we can abbreviate that. Five feet, eight inches tall. So we have inches and we have feet and we also have yards. When I think of yards, I think of a football field. I can think of a football field. And one yard is actually equal to three feet. One yard is equal to three feet. A football field is a hundred yards long. And then so as you see here, it goes from zero all the way to 50, and then back down to zero again. So you could say that the ball is, for instance, on the 20 yard line, or the ball is on the 32 yard line. In fact, even in football, sometimes when it starts getting smaller than a yard, they will say, oh, it only looks like they only have about seven inches to go. Or that they have oh, it's less than a foot to go for the first down. But when you're thinking that larger, you can think of yards. Here are some common relationships that you should understand that one foot our one foot ruler does equal 12 inches. 12 inches and a foot. One yard equals three feet. What that means also then is one yard does equal 36 inches since there's 12 inches in one foot. 
Let's say that I wanted to drive across the country, and I wanted to know how far it was to drive from San Francisco all the way to New York, and what that distance would be, and what that length would be. I would want to probably not measure in inches. Even measuring in feet or yards, there are going to be a lot of feet or a lot of yards. So I need another unit of measurement, and the unit of measurement within the customary system or imperial system is miles. Is miles. The distance between San Francisco and New York driving is about 2,906 miles, which would take about one day and 19 hours to drive. Here is one more relationship that you need to know that one mile is 5,280 feet. Now, if you knew that one mile was 5,280 feet and you were thinking about the yards that it would be, you know that three feet is in one yard. So if you divide by three, you would get that second equation, one mile equals 1,760 yards. And I'll show you below right here. Five minus three is two, bring down the two. 7, 21, 22 minus 21 is 1, bring down the 8, and that is 6. 6 times 3 is 18, 18 minus 18 is 0, we bring down that final 0. 0 times 3 is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0, that's that 1,760 yards, which would be equal to 1 mile. When you think of miles, you're thinking of distance, you're thinking of larger distance. So for instance, inside of a car, you have what's called an odometer, and that measures the amount of miles that your car has traveled. And then so if the odometer reads 7,652, that means that your car has traveled 7,652 miles during its lifetime. You can also have a trip odometer inside of your car. So for instance, you can go ahead and reset your trip odometer at the beginning of um, your trip, or you can even just reset it every single time you get gas. And inside a, a car, typical cars, about 300 to 400 miles on one tank of gas. You think of miles per hour, miles per gallon, so miles is a very important thing and an important unit of customary measurement for length, for distance. All right, here is your review and partly your quiz too. What's the smallest customary unit of length that we work with? Right, inches. What comes next? feet. How many inches are in a foot? 12. There's 12 inches in one foot. After inches, after feet comes what? Right, yards. And so if we had three feet, three feet equals what? one yard. Three feet equals one yard. After yards, what's that unit of measurement? It's a mile. What's that relationship in between a mile and feet? One mile equals 5,000 what? 5,280 feet. Maybe you peeked at your notes, which is fine. And then so it was how many yards then, equaling one mile? 1,760 yards. So again, it goes inches is smallest, then feet, then yards, then miles. With these relationships holding true.